Well, severe weather in North Texas turned deadly last night after three 18 wheelers were blown off the road in Ellis County. The incident caused an hours long road closure, leaving many drivers stuck. I mean, it's just glad we weren't 10, 15 minutes faster than what we were because we would have been in the mix of all of that too. Now look at the extent of the damage across our area from that monster storm. And get ready for a cooler and cloudy, cloudier day, but uh, there's a chance of more storms this morning for some of us. Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 4th. I'm Brandon Todd. And I'm Hannah Vita. Thank you for waking up with us. And it really was an active weather night last night, even last evening. Severe weather, including possible tornadoes, hit Texas Monday evening. This is video from Johnson County, south of Fort Worth near Rio Vista. Viewer John Stevenson captured what appears to be a funnel cloud touching down outside his home. Hours later, a possible tornado might have tossed two 18-wheelers on I-35 in Waxahachie, south of Dallas. This picture, taken by viewer Justin Potter, was likely part of that same system that forced the trucks to turn over. And that's where we find Fox 4 Shannon Murray this morning. She joins us from Ellis County with the very latest on this aftermath. Shannon, how are things looking this morning? Yeah, I had all the lanes back open here on I-35 near Forreston Road in Ellis County, but it was quite a mess early this morning and overnight. Last night, the crews had to shut down most of the lanes here in this area because three of those 18 wheelers, like you mentioned, blew off of the road. Take a look. We have some video we can show you from last night. It shows those semis on their sides right here along I-35 just after 9 p.m. last night. Well, DPS tells us three people had to be taken to the hospital, one from each of those trucks. The accident caused a major traffic backup as first responders work to clear that damage and rescue any stuck drivers. One man tells us the winds pushed his car into the center barrier, causing him to pass out. I'm driving in, a, in, a, in the middle lane and push me in this lane. When I see the 18 wheeler, it's blocking everything. My body be okay, everything except uh, my, my knees and my eyes, a little bit pain, but that's okay. I'm okay. It took crews hours to clear the debris. One of the trucks loaded with Nutella, another with produce that all had to be cleared from the highway. At this point, it's unclear if those semis blew off the road because of straight line winds or a tornado. Reporting live in Ellis County, Shannon Murray for Good Day. All right, Shannon, thank you for the update. We'll check back in soon. Well, that storm uh, caused some damage in Frisco last night, but it doesn't appear a tornado touched down. Instead, high winds are believed to be the cause. One family in a neighborhood near Lebanon Road says a tree branch fell on their car. No injuries have been reported in that area. And there was damage seen in Carrollton, south of Frisco. Residents there say sideways rain and high wind caused trees to snap. Police, fire crews, and tree trimmers each helped clear debris out of the roads last night. No major damage was reported there, which is good because, I mean, in Evan, just looking at some of the videos from last night, some areas got hit really hard. Some were kind of untouched. It's one of those mornings where you wait a couple of hours for the sun to come up to really see the scope of things.